bro, I slept 10 hours and I'm still tired. It's like my brain's battery said, nice try. Same. I dreamed all night, but I feel like I ran a marathon in emotional mud. Sounds like you two skipped the best part. You got sleep, but not deep sleep. And that's where your real healing lives. See these multicolored dots? They represent your glial cells, and they are all over your brain. When nightmares start to fade, the brain moves into the deepest repair phase, REM. During REM, the hippocampus finally hands off the files to the upstairs department, labeling them as past. And that's when the unsung heroes, your glial cells, clock in. They're the night shift janitors that clear inflammation, cortisol residue, and leftover adrenaline from the day. But they only do their best work when you hit deep sleep. That's why sleeping 11 hours can still leave you exhausted. Your brain did the hours, but it skipped the cleanup. Deep sleep is your nervous system's detox cycle. So if you wake up foggy, inflamed, or anxious, chances are your glial cells never clocked in. So if you struggle with getting deep sleep, let's talk about some hacks. Ready? Number one, turn off all stimulation 30 minutes before bed. No scrolling, no doom podcast. That tells the HPA axis, hey, we're closed for the night. Number two, don't forget the hack from three days ago, diaphragmatic breathing. And why? Because it powers down the HPA axis and powers up the parasympathetic nerve, your body's calm system. Number three, write down three emotions you felt today. This helps the ACC and hippocampus connect the dots so that your brain doesn't have to reprocess them at 3 a.m. When you reach deep sleep, nightmares turn into stories with endings and chaos turns into clarity. And the hippocampus files it, the glial cells clean it, and that's the science of peace. Tomorrow, we'll talk about what happens when the reward center finally comes back online.